Ghana didn't see this coming. Finally, Niger boys can party because the golden neglect of Nigeria, that's Nigeria on the 17th side, just defeated Ghana on the 17th team in a trading encounter, three goals to two in the third place match at the ongoing 2024 West African Football Union Zone B Cup. This now means Nigeria have claimed the bronze medal. Previously in the past, we had only 24 teams at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. But now, FIFA has announced that that number is increasing to 48 teams and the Under-17 World Cup will now be played every single year. This means Africa's slot from 4 will likely increase to at least 8 or more. Previously in the past, at the Under-17 African Cup of Nations, we had just 12 teams. But now that we'll be having an increase in the number of teams that represent Africa at the Under-17 FIFA World Cup, would CAF also increase the slot for the Under-17 AFCON? Looking at the fact that West African Football Union Zone B are the most successful side in the world when it comes to the Under-17 level, with Nigeria Golden Eagles claiming 5 gold medals, while Ghana also has 2 gold medals at the Under-17 FIFA Men's World Cup. Before, only two teams represented Wafu Zone B at the under 17 AFCON. But this time around, let's hope there's an increase. If there's an increase, it means the golden neglect of Nigeria, and hopefully Ghana can still make it to the 2025 under 17 AFCON. You have to give kudos to both the Nigerian and the Ghanaian side. These young boys are actually very talented. And of course, kudos to Ade Leki, who got two goals for Nigeria, the man of the match, in my personal opinion. Scoring that late goal to ensure Nigeria got the victory against Ghana on the 17 team. Do you think Nigeria on the 17 team will be able to qualify for the under 17 African Cup of Nations and hopefully the 2025 under 17 FIFA World Cup time? We tell. But for now, let's party and party. Kudos to the Nigerian Golden Eaglets.